Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday morning pulse report for seafood purchasers. Some quick and interesting news out of North America. The Alaskan pollock came in heavy and processors filleted almost all of it. As a result, fillet supplies have stockpiled and there is downward pressure on prices. And in Europe, for the last four weeks now, analysts have been expecting the Atlantic salmon market to stabilize, but prices have kept on dropping. And as October comes to an end, salmon farmers prepare for more slaughtering. That will push prices down even lower. Farmers are required to report their biomass in C and any farm that exceeds the maximum allowed biomass can face penalties. Hence, the pressure to slaughter more fish. Not only are prices dropping, but an interesting inversion is happening on the spot market. Smaller fish are selling at a premium to larger fish. This can be attributed to the simple economics of supply and demand. Because Norwegian farmers increased production capacities over the last two years, there is a large supply of big salmon. Small fish are less abundant and are therefore selling at higher prices. Low Atlantic salmon prices have yet to hit the retail sector, yet any secondary processors who have contract deals are making a killing. Moving forward, it is not expected that prices will recover to previous levels. Some say that prices over the last two years were artificially high in the $5 range because of the Chilean salmon disaster. Forward price lists reveal a new, normal price in the $3 range that will last through 2013. And in Portugal, the high season for salted cod, cod is quickly approaching. Generally at this time of year, processors are upping production in the preparation for the Christmas season. Market prices on Atlantic and Pacific cod are both high this year, and similar to salmon, spot market prices have yet to hit the retail sector. However, unlike salmon, high cod prices hit secondary processors hard, because while they face increased input costs, some are locked into contract deals at low sell prices. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.